Be careful little feet where you go is the title I've given to today's video. And it came about because Christy, my wife, and I were out on the trail this morning and back in October of last year, we were jogging and she stepped on one of these, I think they're hickory nuts. She stepped on one of these, she sprained her ankle. We were supposed to be running in the Lynchburg um, four miler and so she wasn't able to do that. There's a lot of other stuff she couldn't do just from this little thing that she didn't see in her path. Well, as we went by today, we were at that very same spot and there was this laying there. And so we, um, we started talking about that. And I re realized it's something we can apply to our spiritual lives as well. You see, we can be going, about, going throughout life doing what we feel God wants us to do, doing good things and not even realize the things that can make us fall, the things that can redirect our paths in sometimes a painful way. And so why does that happen? I think sometimes it's because we're not aware of what's around us. And so I want to share with you a scripture today. It comes from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. It says, For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers in the dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Now, I'm not saying Satan took this hickory nut and put it there for Christy to trip over, but what I am saying is just like Christy and I said today, we're going to be more careful about watching where we put our feet. Um, the topic, where the topic title came from. But we also need to be careful and realize that Satan wants to pull us away or take us away from the journey God has placed us on, the journey we may be very excited about, the journey we're just cruising through. And um, we don't need to give Satan attention that he doesn't deserve, but we just need to be aware that Satan's there so we can avoid his trap, so we can avoid what it is that he wants to do to pull us away. So I challenge you today to think about that. We're, we're all susceptible. We all have weaknesses. Think about that just for a moment today. Where is it that Satan might be trying to attack you? Where is it that Satan might be trying to pull you away? What is it that that he may be doing? And he doesn't come as a pitch with a pitchfork with some red horns, and and it's usually more cunning. He's he's comes in and he sneaks in. And it's just like this thing. You don't even know it's there until it's too late. But we need to be aware that Satan does have schemes, and Satan is real. So just think about that in hopes just to avoid that so that you can continue down the path God has for you today. Something to think about. Have a great and wonderful week.